everybody welcome to Salesforce break now uh, in this video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the brand new winter 21 functionality that's becoming available uh, around flows now I realized I created a couple of videos and put them out there and um, people are searching a lot about is changed and is new around the flow topic and there are ways actually to address that requirement now the popular question that everybody is asking is whether um, you can use is changed or is new in flow now the short answer to that is no but the long answer is yes actually uh, there are ways you can do that especially in before save flows now and with winter 21 functionality some of that has become even more efficient than before. Let me just show you how uh, I created a workaround in flows to make sure that I catch when a record is updated or created. Now I created a flow around opportunity to test this. Let me just create one step by step with you. We are going to create a record triggered flow this is a winter 21 preview org and uh, i'm going to create a record triggered flow uh, in this instance now you see now we have the functionality in flows to use the auto layout beta functionality let's try and create our flow in that environment it's in beta still but it's quite useful if you like it now we are going to launch this flow when a record is created or updated and this is going to run before save and the object we are going to run this on is going to be the opportunity object now as uh, some of you know already in winter 21 we have the option to decide whether we want to run this uh, flow or not based on a certain criteria. Now we can say, okay, well, I want to run this flow whenever uh, an opportunity is created and updated, but I want to only run it when the opportunity that it is updated to is closed one. As you know, before save flows are super efficient and fast anyway, and this is going to make things even better and more efficient. Now, after the start element, the first thing that we wanna do is we want to get the opportunity record. Now, because uh, because this is a before save flow, the opportunity that we are about to create or the new values that we are going to write to the database, um, that they have not been recorded to the database yet. So if we go and get the opportunity, and when doing that, we use the ID of the opportunity that's in um, dollar record ID, we are going to access the values that are on, on, in the, on the database currently. So for the, uh, for the uh, we are going to access the values of uh, the existing record before it's updated. So I'm going to just get the first record and let me just choose the fields that I want to record and I'm going to record them in separate variables. I'm only interested in what the stage, the previous stage is. So let me just create a variable for this previous stage text 
So I'm I'm just recording the previous stage of the opportunity. If the opportunity is an existing opportunity, that's going to be updated. Now, this is important. I'm going to check this box uh, to notate that when no records are returned, I need this previous stage variable here to, to be set as null. All right. Now we need a decision element. Ah, we do that right here. So uh, this auto layout functionality still throws me off a little bit. I'm trying to create my decision element on the left side. But with this new functionality, we actually click on the plus sign in between two elements to uh, create a new element in between. Now, let's call this one is changed is new, right? Now we are going to try and catch all the different cases in here. Now the first thing I want to catch is whether this one, let me just write, or not write this in question format, whether this record is new or not. And the way I'm going to know that is if previous stage, no, actually, if the record ID is null, then this is not true then we know actually that this opportunity is brand new. So when the opportunity is being created, there is not an exist existing opportunity ID on the database that's going to be updated with the new value. So it means the opportunity is brand new. Now the next one after I exclude that is going to be um, from negotiation. So what I want to catch here is whether the previous stage equals to negotiation slash review or not. Now in an ideal scenario in most sales processes in uh, corporations you want actually all the stages that you create to be followed in sequence unless there's an exception. So I want to catch whether uh, when the opportunity is closed one, whether it's coming from negotiation review or is it coming from uh, any other stage that was defined for my sales process. And if previous stage is negotiation review, uh, this decision is going to be called, this decision is going to go into effect and it's, and it's called from negotiation. Now, let's call this one from another stage. And this is going to be, uh, my criteria is going to be the previous stage does not equal negotiation slash review. Well, when the previous stage does not equal to negotiation and review, then I know it's actually coming from another stage, stage um, and it didn't follow the procedures that I set up for it. And the default outcome is going to be not changed. Let's continue with our conditions and then do certain assignments to description field so that we can test whether this works is designed. So let's say this one is my new assignment step.
let's put into the description field new well let's actually add to the description field uh, new opportunities should not be closed one so if the previous stages negotiation I am going to append to the description field congrats process followed and if it's coming from any other stage I'm going to assign to the description field in fact add to the description field opportunities should not skip negotiation stage And if it's not meeting any of this criteria, it's just going to skip and then finalize, finalize over here. Now, let's review what we have done, shall we? Now, here we caught in the same flow, before save flow, the condition where the record is a brand new record. So this is, although we are triggering our record triggered flow, whenever a record is updated, or created this is the create condition over here so I we, I can do uh, whatever steps I want based on that condition right under this branch now I can also create various different criteria based on whatever stage this uh, opportunity is coming from so this is my is changed area so I can create additional conditions or I can just use these two conditions to say okay well if my opportunity is coming from a negotiation stage this is the branch I want to follow when it's coming from any other stage this is the branch I want to follow and if the uh, record is updated but um, most probably other fields were updated updated other than the stage then it's going to fall in this area so the stage has not changed the record has been updated but the stage remained closed one so it was closed one and the new value for stage is also closed one and it's going to fall under this criteria branch and this concludes our flow over here so we can save our flow we can activate it and then see whether that works for us. Now, no errors. One important step I seem to forget sometimes is that, of course, I need to have my flow act activated, right? So I activate my flow. I go to my opportunities. And the way I want to test this is I want to create a new opportunity. Let's say I'm a lazy salesperson, right? So test opportunity one, $100,000. Close date is today. 
I haven't record, recorded any information on this opportunity before. I come in and, and the, I mark it as close one and save it. So when I go to my details on this opportunity, I'm going to see that there is actually a warning in my description that says new opportunity should not be close one. Let's say um, another scenario that we have set up if we wanted to test whether an opportunity is coming from any other stage. Let's say the opportunity is in needs analysis. Let me just update the opportunity uh, with the need analysis stage and go to close one. Well, actually, I marked it now uh, as value propos proposition. That's fine. Let's um, go ahead and mark this one as closed one. And what I'm going to get right now in my description is that opportunity should not skip uh, the negotiation stage. Let's do it right this time. Let's go to the negotiation stage. Mark the negotiation slash review stage as the current stage. And go to closed one from negotiation slash review. Now this time I'm going to get a comment in my description that says congrats process followed. Now I meant to append all my comments actually in my flow instead of overwriting them but I guess uh, here, um, here right here uh, I made my uh, operator equals instead of add so it actually overwrote all the description comments that I have added before and it directly went to congrats process followed which is appropriate actually in this case right delete all the negative history so this is my flow folks um, this is the way you can actually set up criteria in your flows in your decision elements to catch uh, various is changed and is new scenarios enjoy